It started in 2008. Uh, the incident uh, that happened is that a 14-year-old boy was shot and killed for a cell phone coming from the library. Personally, I felt I, have to do, I had to do something. I mobilized the youth and I mobilized most of the guys in my community, the community that uh, I'm residing at. It's, it's a community-based uh, project. We are dealing with crime. So basically we started to have patrols. We started patrols and we started by being visible. And we had some WhatsApp groups. It was about informing the incident, the crime incidents, then we were responding to those. It was working wonders because we managed to, un to, to, to arrest crime incidents in, in, in Combo Town, which is the area that I'm residing at. The project that I started in Kombo, I had to spread it through to Tangan village. Someone will be the victim of crime. He will go and open a case. He will say so-and-so has taken my plasma. That so-and-so will deny. The police will take him in. They will take him in, he will be arrested. Then two days later, he's out. Then the plasma is lost. For instance, most of these things are being sold in these drug dens. So we go there and we call the police to assist us. If they're not coming, we go there and we take the plasmas back to their owners. It was well received by the community, well received. Even up to today, we've got their 100% uh, support. The Duncan Village Community Policing Forum has been, as contribution has been significant to the community. They have single-handedly prevented crime in this area. His work in this community has been significant. As we face a crumbling police service, the Dungan Village Police Forum has been at the forefront of preventing crime in this area and apprehending suspects when the police have not been able to do so. What inspires me is, is helping those people, helping the victims of crime. It inspires me.